relevant now. It is such timely technology, it just could not be any more exciting to be engaged with. Solar energy is going to be one of the world's energy sources in the coming decades and, and millennia, and, and this is really critical now to understand the best technologies. The UK faces two main challenges. One of those challenges is to have a sustainable energy system within the UK. The other challenge is to have qualified researchers who can address these problems. It's really important that we generate research where it's actually needed, generate relationships with industry, and then feed back the research from the university back into the supply chain. If you think about it, you know, Sheffield's in the middle of the Yorkshire coalfield, energy. It's been a very important strand for the university for a number of years. The Low Carbon Combustion Centre is a centre that was set up to try and bridge the gap between a university small-scale experiment and what industry might actually want to see. We're working with partners not only in the UK but also in Europe. We work with the oil companies, we're working with um, additive manufacturers for the oil companies along with quite a few of the power generators as well. On a lab scale you don't get very representative data whereas this is in between the lab scale and the real world. So the, the work that we generate we hope that will help the real operating power plant. The Sheffield Solar Farm project is all about trying to bridge the gap between our academic research into new and emerging federal tech technology based on plastic materials and the commercial state of the art crystalline silicon technologies that we have in front of us here. The website is quite a crucial part of our project because it's how we disseminate the data we receive here on the farm back to our users and the interested parties for the project and that informs users, installers, distributors of actually what the panels are doing performance wise correlated to the weather. I'm the academic director of Sheffield Siemens One Power Research Centre. We are developing the dielectric drive permanent magnet type of generator for offshore one power application. Being a Siemens employee, I have direct contact with the development centre within Denmark and certainly being based at the university, I also have direct contact with Professor Sue. So I'm literally a direct bridge between uh, both needs. Siemens are gaining benefit by being affiliated with the university because what they perceive is getting a technical advantage over their competitors. We are strong in creating new ideas, but meanwhile we're also very strong for the bridging the gap between the university and the industry. This is why in fact our group we have three spin-off companies and we not only publish papers but we also make prototypes. We have worked extensively for all major automotive industries such as Nissan, Toyota, Fiat, Volvo, BMW for example. The most exciting part of this for me is that the technology that we're developing here is going directly into the wind turbines that are actually going to be out there doing the work. And certainly some of the work that we have already done here is already going into some of the series production. So it's already happening. There's a lot of challenge for our research. We need to optimize the design. So you have the advantages there, but then you also have a lot of challenges there. Now this is a challenge which we're very interested to tackle. That is a demonstration of the Saren uh, light emitting diode. The device size is only 0.3 mm square. So it's very tiny, this uh, device. However, you, if you can see this, it's very bright. What Tao has done is to come up with a very cost effective means of building high brightness LEDs that are typically two to three times brighter than the, the sort of standard products you can get today. None of this would have come about without uh, the facilities that exist at Sheffield. What you see here is a clean room. It's located in the 35 National Centre in the UK. They have the comprehensive the facilities which can meet all the requirements for the device fabrication. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, I think. Everything is aligned. The marketplace is growing rapidly. There's global legislation in place that drives the technology forward. There's great technology push as well as technology pull. It couldn't be any better.